Hello everybody, welcome back to Northwest Wing Shooters. My name is Rob. Today we're out in the Chucker Hills and uh, it's a pretty windy and cold morning. Uh, it's still early October. It seemed like a great day to chase chucks with the cool air coming through and a nice breeze for the dogs. We'll be working downwind going down the ridge so my plan is to kind of hug the bottom a little bit because I tend to find huns and quail down lower especially when it's windy and cold like this and then we'll um we'll walk the ridge top back into the wind hopefully finding the chucks up on top i'm not sure how good the audio quality is going to be today with how windy it is i'll do my best with it hope you guys enjoy the video anyway if you do please hit the like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't already that really helps me out thanks for that we'll see you out in the field I'd like to thank Dogtra for their continued support of the channel. For your e-collar or GPS collar needs, visit dogtra.com. Use my code NWING5 at checkout for 5% off your purchase of $200 or more. Let's go. Hit him up. And we're off. It is a beautiful day. I'll say that. So my idea is just to follow this fence line for a little while and work this side hill. There's a huge buck. Meh. Does up there. So far, no birds. This was a really good spot for me two years ago. Last year, we didn't really see a lot here. We're gonna head down to this bottom since we're here. I don't know if I'm gonna hunt it again this year, so might as well check. There's a covey of quail that lives down there in that bottom. So we'll go check. And then, uh, Hunt the ridge top back into the wind. Hopefully pick up some birds up on top. Been having issues with Dizzy not wanting to hunt. She just wants to be with me. As you can see the 11 year old is over there. He's currently 130 yards away. And the almost two year old is at 38 feet. I don't know how I fix it. She just doesn't want to do it on her own. Always thinking about where I'm at. With Cooper, I always had the opposite problem. He was always, he's always ranged too far. When I was new to hunting, I thought it was too far, but now I don't really care. If they want, I would honestly love a dog that would go 300. Cooper rarely goes over 150, but as long as they hold a point, what does it hurt? You know, let them cover the ground. Let me know in the comments below, what do you guys prefer in a pointing dog? You like them to work close or do you like them to work far? And if so, let me know what kind of birds you're hunting too. If you're hunting grouse or something, you might prefer a close working dog, but out here in chucker country, and the birds can be anywhere. And so you need a dog that's comfortable and confident enough to go hunt and cover serious ground. This is actually the spot where Dizzy got her first wild birds. She pointed a couple of chucker in this ditch here. Got birds, Diz? Cooper pointing. Cooper's got quail. I don't know if I hit that bird or not. Let's go find it. 
Maybe it got away clean. Maybe I didn't hit that bird. Half expected to find that bird up here. I know there's more down downstream. I could hear him calling. Dizzy pointing. Good dogs. I think that was two. Dizzy's got one. Dizzy, here, fetch it up, Diz. Good girl, bring it here. Good girl, fetch it up. Good girl, Diz, bring it here. Come on. Come on, Diz, give me that bird. Bring it here. Good girl, fetch here. Fetch it here. Good girl, come on, Diz. Come on, hey, here. Uh uh, bring it here. Fetch it up. Here. Dizzy here. 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 Dizzy here. Cooper, leave it. Good dogs. I think there's another one down over there. Dead bird. Find it. Dead bird. Good girl. Bring it here. Leave it. Good. Good girl. All right, so that was a double. Two quail. Let's see if we can find some more. We're gonna chase this down a little bit before we head back up looking for chucks. Dizzy pointing. Good girl, Dizzy. I think that was another double. No birds. That was not a double. Guys, dead bird. Hunt dead. I know that one over here was dead. Good girl, Dizzy. Good girl. Bring it here. Dizzy, bring it here. Good girl. All right, they found that one. Good boy, Coop. I know you helped too. All right, there's another dead one on the other side of the creek, so I gotta cross the creek again. Okay, good girl. Another dead bird. Two doubles, but some really bad misses also. 
and I don't know if we're gonna recover the second bird because I kind of wounded it. They're looking for it though. How am I missing those? Does he have it? Oh, good boy, Coop. Not <laughs> a boy. Good boy, bring it here. Bring it here, buddy. Bring it here, bud. Oh, out of boy. Good boy. Hey, thanks, bud. Cooper found it. Nice male. Good boy, bud. Okay, on him up. Just gonna hunt this down. And then probably go up on the ridge and start working back to the truck. Hopefully get into some huns and chucker. Dead bird. Good girl, Tiz. Dead bird, guys. I think I'm gonna work down and then back to where it was. Just gotta remember where it was. It's like right on the other side there somewhere. You can see the feathers on the ground here. But where's the bird? Pointing. Dead. Dead bird, Diz. Fetch it up. Get it, Diz. Dead bird. Dead. Fetch it up. Bring it here. Coop. Cooper, here. Leave it. Good boy. That's five coil. Nice. Good work, Coop. Atta boy. All right, retrieve count is Dizzy three, Cooper two. We won't keep score of my shooting now. <laughs> I can't be doing that. I'm wasting shells. Cooper pointing. Dead bird. And then I make shots like that. How? Oh, good girl. Leave it. Good. Dizzy. Dizzy's a good girl. She got it before I could even get down there. Cooper's still wondering what happened. He's like, I know the bird was here. I can smell it. <laughs> Dizzy beat him to it. Dizzy, you're a quail retrieving machine. You got birds? Dizzy pointing. Dizzy got it, Coop. Good boy. Six quail down. Dizzy pointing. You got birds? Good girl, Dizzy. I didn't believe her. She had it, and there she is with it. Good girl. Here, here. Leave it. Good. 
She's a good retriever too. Seven quail. This is a big covey, so I'm okay with taking quite a bit. Plus, I don't think I'll hunt it again this year. That's crazy though. I threw a rock in there to try to flush it. She was on point, so I threw a rock in there to flush it. That's kind of how you have to do it with these because you can't, obviously you can't go in and kick it. You're never going to have a shot. So I just throw a stone in there and flush it. But it didn't flush when I threw the stone. It flushed a little bit after though. She's in the creek on point. In the bottom down here. Got birds, Diz? Yeah, she's got a bird. I can't flush it. I can't throw a rock in there because she's in there. Dizzy pointing. We're just going to have to wait for this one to fly. There she goes. That's no, Cooper. He's still on point. At least that's what it says. I can't see her. Dizzy pointing. <sighs> Maybe if I throw a stick in there, it won't fall all the way to the ground and hit her. Nothing. Diz, I can't get in there, sweetie. Dizzy, what are you doing? Got a bird? I can't get him. I got away. Good girl. And she held that for a long time. That bird held tight. She might not range very far, but man, she's a heck of a quail dog. She's definitely better at quail than Cooper ever has been. So now the debate is, do I go back up the draw and then up to the ridge top to hunt chucks, or do I just go up there now? I think I'm gonna go up there now. I had enough fun with the quail today. I wasn't even supposed to be quail hunting, but. I'm already down here, may as well. And so begins the slog to the top. Busy wait. Whoa. Easy, heal. Well, he we pointed him, but he ultimately bumped him. Chucker. starting to rain. The road I came in on, I did not want to drive out on the rain, so I need to hightail it to the truck. I was going to walk the ridge top back, but I think I'm going to stay down here, walk and side hill it again, just try to stay out of some of the weather. Didn't really get to do the hunt I wanted to today. Dizzy wolf. Good boy, no bird. Uh. 
That was perfect. Good boy, Cooper. Sorry, bud. You had him. All right, well, we made it back to the truck. Yeah, the weather kind of moved in on us again. It's two days in a row it started raining on me. We got into a good amount of quail down there in that bottom, which was pretty fun. Uh, got some good dog work on those, and Dizzy's turned into quite the, quite the little quail dog. I'm a little bit uh, unsure as to why she doesn't range like I want her to. Um, she had some awesome retrieves. We had some good dog work overall, some good points uh, down there in those thick willows. Um, Cooper found a covey of chucker right away, right as we uh, got out of the bottom. He didn't hold him long enough for me to get there and get a shot, as you saw. Uh, and then there was another covey. I don't know if it was Huns or chucker. I didn't really get a good look at them, but it sounded like they were chucker. So. Um, he didn't hold those at all and then he had a beautiful point on that covey of huns and I just whiffed <laughs> uh, That's just the way it goes sometimes But uh, it sucks when the when the opportunities are few as they are my plan was to hunt that ridge top back But since the weather came in I wasn't gonna be up there I just figured I'd hightail it out of there get out of there as quick as I can we pretty much stopped hunting right then but I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did, please be sure to hit the like button down below as well as subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I really appreciate that. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you out in the field next time.